today we are continuing with 19 ways to pray. And the, the way of praying that I'm going to focus on today is what I call prayers of praise. Um, so we are blessed as human beings to have a voice and um, that we can speak out loud. And our voice helps us to communicate with others. Um, it helps us to build relationships. Um, it helps us to express um, who we are and what we're about. And our voice can also be used um, to praise God. And so prayers of praise involve a joyful, um, spontaneous, and free way um, to praise God for all that he is and all that he has done for you. And in fact, um, we would say that really um, God deserves our praise. Um, we owe a, a debt of gratitude unto God for all that he has done for us. And so when we praise him, um, we're doing something that's, that's just, um, that reflects um, the truth um, that God has blessed us in many ways. And we're also remembering how faithful um, he has been to us and um, how consistently he has shown us mercy and compassion and his great love. And so prayers of praise um, help us um, to, to acknowledge all of this and to remember um, how important it is um, to incorporate that into our lives. Um, you know, in Romans chapter 8, verse 27 to 28, um, St. Paul says, um, The Spirit helps us in our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we ought, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us with sighs too deep for words. The Spirit intercedes for the saints according to the will of God. And you know, as Christians, we are baptized, and we're baptized in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. As Catholics, we've received the sacrament of baptism, sacrament of confirmation. We have the fullness of the Holy Spirit um, residing in us. And it's really the Holy Spirit um, that speaks in us, to us, and the Holy Spirit that rises up inside of us, um, wanting to praise, wanting to thank God, wanting to praise God for all that he has done and for all that he is. And so the Spirit of God um, can help us um, to learn how to praise. And the Spirit of God wants to encourage us um, to praise. And the Spirit of God will bring great encouragement to our lives um, as we enter into praise. Um, it's also true that with prayers of praise, when you're praising God, um, you're putting less focus on yourself and you're putting more focus on him. And this is a good thing. Um, it, it leads to being in a humble place. Um, it also means that whatever circumstance you're going through, um, you're going to trust him. Um, you're going to trust him when things are going good and things are not going good. Um, you're going to trust him when you don't understand what he's doing in the present moment. And when you're not seeing the results that you want, when you're Current circumstances are very challenging. Um, continuing to praise God is a way um, to deepen your faith. It's a way to live out your faith and to express your faith. And, and so, you know, um, you can actually learn um, to praise God throughout your day. In the beginning of your day, in the middle of your day, at the end of your day. Um, as a priest, I pray the liturgy of the hours. I pray in, in the beginning of the day, in the middle of the day, end of the day, and even before I go to bed. And, and so learning to praise God, though, just more spontaneously throughout your day is also a wonderful thing. Um, to be able to just say, Lord God, I praise you. I thank you for all that you are and all that you do for me. Um, to be able to say, Jesus, I love you. And to be able to say, come, Holy Spirit, come, Holy Spirit, more fully, into my life. Um, Father, I give you thanks and praise. Um, Jesus, you are my Lord and Savior. Um, praise be the Holy Spirit. Um, you could also say the traditional um, Jesus prayer. This is a prayer that Catholic monks and Eastern monks um, pray all throughout their day. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, um, have mercy on me, a sinner. And as we praise God um, throughout our day, it keeps us connected to him um, during our day. 
And you know, the Psalms in particular are wonderful um, prayers of praise. And there's lots of Psalms that we can turn to to help us um, to praise God. Um, The Psalms go through a a range of emotions, all the different emotions that we experience, um, joy, sorrow, faith, fear, hope, despair, Whatever it is we're experiencing, we can find it in the Psalms. So, for instance, Psalms 27 says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Psalm 34, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be continually in my mouth. And Psalm 118, This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And Psalm 145, Every day I will bless you. And I will praise your name forever and ever. And the simple way to, to develop um, more of a prayer life is to pray throughout your day and to take time um, at different moments in your day to pray, even if they're short prayers. I'm mean, even to write down one of these prayers. Every day I will bless you and I will praise your name forever and ever. Psalm 145, verse 2. And um, to put that on a card, put it in your pocket and pull it out throughout your day and pray it. Um, as you do this, um, it, again, it'll change the relationship with God. Um, he'll become more real because you'll be including him in your day. Um, he's already real, um, but it's more a matter of you inviting him um, to be in your day and you allowing him to be in your day, you giving him permission um, to be in your day. And as you do that, um, as you praise him, um, you will experience that more and more.